Hello everyone, I'm Larry Haley, your state representative from the 8th District. I represent most of Benton County, including Richland and Kennewick. I'm reporting to you today from the 2010 legislative session here in Olympia. House Democrats passed their $755 million tax package earlier this week. I joined with all of my House Republican colleagues in voting against this measure, which included 21 new and increased taxes, including an increase in the cigarette tax, an increase in certain business and occupation tax rates for businesses, a tax on candy, gum, and bottled water. As an example of the immediate effects of the largest tax increase in Washington State's history is that the B&O tax in the revenue package will double Battelle's tax from $5 million to $10 million. At least that's the proposal that might hit Battelle in the next few days. I believe Idaho and Oregon will be thanking Washington for this proposal as it will benefit their economies and their employers more than ours. In fact, the governor of Idaho recently sent a letter to businesses in Washington and Oregon urging employers faced with rising taxes to move to business-friendly Idaho. Here's a quote from Governor Otter's letter. We are now reaching out to hundreds of Oregon businesses and we will do the same with those in Washington if the legislature there follows Oregon's lead. What we can offer is a business-friendly state government, a highly qualified and motivated workforce, and communities where people understand that while government cannot be the solution to their problems, it can and must be a champion for their own solutions. Another tax increase being considered that would impact jobs in Washington and could increase gas prices by three cents per gallon is the hazardous substance tax. It is contained in House Bill 3181. Unfortunately, there's nothing in these tax proposals that will help maintain jobs in this state. These are short-term gimmicks and the only lasting effects they'll have are negative. They are going to hurt struggling families and struggling employers. Throughout this session, I have repeatedly asked the question, will this proposal help create jobs or destroy jobs? That has been my mantra all session. As I believe folks in my district and across the state just want to work. They want a job. And if a proposal is going to hurt jobs and hurt our employers, I don't vote for it. We're entering the final days of session. Unless House and Senate budget writers can agree on which of your taxes they are, they are going to raise, there is already talk of a special session. A special session will cost over $20,000 per day. This isn't going to help our budget situation. There's, there is still time for the Democrat majority to listen to the people. We can balance this budget without raising taxes if we embrace true government reform and look for additional efficiencies within all areas of the budget. Again, I want to thank you for tuning in to my, my legislative update, and I encourage you to call me with your questions and suggestions about the budget and other legislative matters. You can use my direct line, 360-786-7986. That's 360-786-7986. Or use the toll-free hotline you see below. Or send a message by email. And don't forget to check my website for news. Thank you very much. I look forward to hearing from you. This is Larry Haler representing the 8th Legislative District reporting to you from Olympia.